All right, guys. What we are looking at right now is John Jobs' resume worksheet. And it is separated into four sections. You can see here we have the financial management or leadership, customer service, and analytical uh, you know, sections. And uh, for each section, we have filled out several bullet points. And each one of these bullet points comes from two previous jobs. And the most previous job was working at a restaurant and the job before that was working in an office. Every time that you are working with uh, people, you're gonna have management, leadership functions are gonna become uh, important, and then you're also gonna have the analytical side, which is just pretty much understanding what's going on behind the scenes. And uh, let's just go through a few of these, not to be exhaustive, but in the financial uh, category, we have the balanced cash accounts daily. I think at a restaurant and at the office, that was something that happened on a regular basis, uh, doing bank deposits, inventory recs, uh, prevents, uh, prevented a $1,000 loss. That is actually a good point to make because some people have had a, a hand in on something that was very important to the organization and may have omitted that for not knowing how to put that in there. Any significant event that benefited the company you work for, you want to find a way to put that in on your resume worksheet. Uh, with management leadership, train entry-level employees, uh, ran pre-shift meetings, took new hires under their wing, communicated job expectations, enforced policies and procedures. All of those things are important to a manager, important to anyone who wants to exhibit leadership, and you always want to make sure that you are doing a great job at facilitating that idea. You have customer service where uh, a lot of times you have a person who may get voted on by their peers or their managers for best customer service specialist or a person and this person uh, John Jobs actually received that vote four times and was recognized for it. Uh, I also received 10 customer service kudos in one month that was an important thing. And uh, those are the, also the types of things that make a person feel good about their job. And those types of things you want to be able to find a way to make it last in your profile. You don't want it to just live and die with that job that you had. You want to be able to take that to your next job and have that assist you in your career building. That you are able to really reach customers, make them feel good, make them happy about the experience. Those are the types of things that you really want to hone in on. Uh, assisted, you know, many customers with every aspect of the business. That's something that most of the employees at a job are going to be responsible for. Uh, so you always want to include responsibilities. Um, handle high volume of customers on a daily basis. Uh, working at a restaurant, sometimes working in an office can have a high volume of customers at different times of the day and along with that you can have a high stress environment and those who excel in that high stress environment sometimes can show a different level of professionalism and uh, character when they can uh, do well in those types of situations. Uh, in the analytical world we have uh, discovered a new way to track and measure sales success. That's a very good one because uh, most of the companies that you will be interviewing for have some level of sales that they're going to be responsible for, and you may be responsible for sales as well. So learning how to track and measure sales is a very good way to show that you are a thinking, analytical person and can improve on methods that already exist. And uh, also found an efficient way to handle influx of customers during high times. Uh, a lot of times if you're from the outside looking in or you stand from afar, you can see things that are happening that can be improved. And it's a very important thing to uh, find those efficiencies uh, and be able to respond to them accordingly. It may come from telling your manager. It may come from implementing the strategy yourself. No matter what it is, it's definitely something that you want to keep on your profile. You don't want that to just uh, become non-existent once you are looking for a new job. Uh, also recorded metrics that helped employees increase secondary sales. Uh, some companies call it upsells, some call it upgrades, and uh, also analyze variances. That one comes from John Jobs' experience working at a restaurant, but nevertheless, it is an important 
very important um, task that he completed. And it shows that he has the ability to go in and look at what happened versus what was expected, find out what differences were, whether they were plus or negative, and to know what to do with each one of those variances. Some of you guys have done this in the past working in a company, and you want to be able to use that type of experience to your advantage. So right now we have about four to six different key points in each category. And right now we are ready to go to our resume. So let's see what we got.